I'm Congressman Alan Grayson. Thank you for inviting me to share this panel on the NSA, and thank you for all the good work that you do to protect privacy and security in America and throughout the world. Listen to me. If the Chinese government had proposed to put in a back door into our computers and then paid a company $10 million to make that the standard, we would be furious. We'd be angry. We'd do something about it. But what about if it's our own government that does that? That's exactly what the NSA has become, the best hacker in the entire world. And when they put in a weakness in the, the architecture of, of the software that, that everyone uses, what they're doing is making it a weakness not just for their benefit, but the benefit of anybody who comes along and knows about it. And that's a crying shame. We are entitled to our privacy as human beings. Many of our economic activities cannot be done unless they can be done with some degree of security and safety. And the protection that the NSA is purporting to provide to Americans is actually being undermined by the NSA itself. That has to end. That's why I'm happy that many of you joined me in passing two amendments recently which represented the first substantive limits on the NSA's ability to insinuate itself into our software for improper purposes. One was our Science and Technology Committee amendment, which said that NIST no longer has to be a short order cook for whatever the NSA want, tells it it wants to do. And the other one was a parallel amendment on the floor of the House, which passed unanimously among Democrats and Republicans for the same purpose. These are the first steps that we're taking to take back our privacy, take back our own security, take back our freedom. And I welcome your help in doing that. It's one of the greatest endeavors of modern life to make sure that we can preserve modern life against the encroachments of Big Brother. I'm Congressman Alan Grayson. Thanks again.